Greetings, everyone. Jim here from Storm Warning News, and I sense that they are setting something up, some sort of nuclear funky Frida. Anyway, Biden says that nuclear Armageddon risk is the highest since the 1962 crisis. Let's have a look at some details. Now, Joe Biden said Thursday that the risk of nuclear Armageddon is at the highest level since the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis, as Russian officials speak of the possibility of using tactical nuclear weapons after suffering massive setbacks in the eight-month invasion of Ukraine. Now, Biden was speaking at a fundraiser when he said that uh, Vladimir Putin was a guy he knew fairly well and that the Russian leader was not joking when he talks about the use of tactical nuclear weapons or biological or chemical weapons. And Biden added, we have not faced the prospect of Armageddon since Kennedy and the Cuban Missile Crisis. He suggested the threat from Putin is real because his military is, you might say, significantly underperforming. Again, those are the words of Joe Biden. It seems to me, in my view here, that um, they are indeed setting up some manner of nuclear funky Frida. This is getting so much play lately. Yes, I believe it is legit that Russia could use nukes. Of course they could. They are. Uh, Putin is a cornered rat right now. This whole thing over the last eight months since this uh, war in the Ukraine began has seemed very scripted. His so-called defeat right now in Ukraine seems very scripted to me, in my opinion. The way this is heading now with the threats of nuclear weapons being used in the Ukraine, the threats of nuclear weapons being used against the U.S. by Russia, all seems very scripted, all seems like it's leading somewhere. What is the value in using nuclear weapons? How would this uh, coincide with uh, the Weffers Agenda 2030? Certainly it would uh, send it out of kilter, I would believe. Nuclear weapons are not green. They're not good for the environment, my friends. Um, the threat is real, I do believe. Uh, how real it is, that remains to be seen. But I'm more concerned about the possibility of a funky Frida coming out of this here in the U.S., whether it be a suitcase nuke, a tactical nuke, something that could be blamed on Russia, uh, whether Russia was actually responsible for it or not. Be vigilant, be expecting anything, be surprised by nothing. And remember, the word of God is written in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, which says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Press into Jesus Christ, my friends. This is Jim signing off. Until the next time, God bless you.